Hey guys, it's Noah Master back with some more redstone. Today I have some memory related things to show you guys. Uh, both have to do with signal strength memory. Uh, first thing I want to show off is this compact signal strength memory lock. It's probably the smallest you can make. I'm not sure, but as far as I can tell, it's the smallest you can make. It saves memory signal strength memory, any signal from 1 to 15 reliably. The reason you can't just use a a uh, bezel flop thingy like this is that this is 3 length right here and that will screw up some of the length stuff. So you have to you have to have uh, in a configuration like this for it to work. This is too wide stackable so like that it would stack um, I'm not sure if this is anything special but I don't think I've seen anyone else come up with it so I thought I'd show that off um, this it's what I use in all my other memory stuff here so uh, I'm gonna start with this this is signal strength RAM for CPUs or whatever it's I wouldn't recommend using it in a CPU unless you're going analog CPU hex. Uh yeah, then you wouldn't you, you could use it. The reason I wouldn't is because the data input for it to carry signal of one, it has to have a repeater every every uh cell like this. So it, it's kinda inefficient it's pretty slow but on the on the plus side it is much more dense than normal memory even though even though this seems pretty big like each address seems pretty far apart it's actually I mean, when you compare it to binary it's actually a lot smaller like this is pretty it's pretty small. I, I'm pretty pleased with how small I got it. Uh, at least tall, how tall it is, and how wide it is this way. Uh, it, it could probably be a couple blocks smaller this way, but I didn't. I didn't figure that out. I might try it next time. But anyways, let's show it in action. Let's save some stuff to it. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four. So save turn these off and when I read that out you see one two three and four the lengths are reversed like that's one and that's fifteen uh, it's pretty intuitive but just to make sure that it's not confusing anyone uh, now let's just save to another address just to show that it's actually stackable. Save to this address. And now we can read from these two. Read from that one. That's what you get. And then read from the first one. You get what we put in first. So, it's it's pretty nice. Uh, I think it's probably as fast as you can get. I'm not sure about that, but close to the as fast as you can get. You might be able to shave off a couple ticks, but not much, just because how of how it works. The only thing that's really slowing it down is that. So, next thing is, this is like a uh, little capacitor kind of thing that I I just found when I was messing around with this stuff. Uh, it just, it goes up when you hit that lever and saves it and goes down when you hit that lever. Um, the thing that's useful about this is that you can 
you can create a counter just by pulsing these. So uh, if you have a like a two tick mon stable, I think that will create a up down counter. But you can also tell it to count up and down however many you want. And no, never mind. It won't work for a shifter. But it's pretty cool. Um, this is I, I I'm not going to explain how that works since it's a bit too complicated. But I will explain how this works since it's pretty simple. So you have the memory gate, memory latch that I showed off over here. That's right here. And then you have, for subtracting, you have a hopper with one and a little thing that enables it when you turn this off. So that's when that's off, that's enabled. And then that should subtracts one from this loop. And since it's in a loop, it will subtract one and then subtract one again over and over and over again every two ticks. So that's how it that's how it goes down. It just subtracts in a loop. And for going up, it uses addition. It takes this signal right here, subtracts it from 15, subtracts one by moving see how this is there's two signals here that's how it subtracts one or uh, yeah subtracts one and then subtracts that from 15 again when this is on that's how it adds um you should be pretty familiar with the double subtract addition thing because i've been using it quite a lot so it's a nifty little device it, it could be useful in like mini games or counting for more advanced redstone logic things depending on what you use it for yeah I, I can think of a lot of uses for this it's pretty cool so that's pretty much it really um, I don't think I have anything else to say uh, next redstone video will probably be in couple days since I'm planning something big for it and uh, I need a couple days to build that but uh, anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time